Looking deep into the universe is like taking a trip down memory lane. The farther from Earth we look, the farther back in time we see. Starlight from the remote past is just arriving at Earth now. Telescopes are time machines for exploring what happened billions of years ago. But before the Hubble Space Telescope, we could only see so far. We had a view that galaxies were out there a few billion years back, but we didn't know if they went all the way back to the very earliest epochs in the universe. That all changed when Hubble got on the job. In 2003, astronomers used Hubble to look back in time to within a billion years after the Big Bang. This was the first time we were able to explore an age of the universe we could only dream of before. The image was called the Ultra Deep Field, and that changed everything. We saw things that were much farther away than any previous observations had shown us. And also, when you're looking back when the universe was less than a billion years old, and be able to find objects that existed at that time. Lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis. But when the Hubble was serviced for the last time in 2008, scientists saw a way to expand our vision of the universe even further by using the new infrared camera. We could push out to earlier times. We could find even more distant objects than we'd ever been able to do before. That new research take the area around these objects. Combined with the ultra deep field's use of visible light pulled out and displayed here is now called the extreme deep field. We can't see the first galaxies, but this has put us on the fringes of that time. And so we've been hosed, sort of focusing in now on when the first galaxies formed. As revealing as the extreme deep field is, then this, this one it's only a preview of what lies ahead. We need to take a giant leap forward, and that's what James Webb Space Telescope will do. You know, it's a hundred times what Hubble can do. So when that flies, you know, in minutes, it can, hours, it can do what we've done on Hubble that have taken weeks, months. It's incredible. What's also incredible is the realization that this small slice of the universe is just that, a slice. Multiply this by 30 million and you get an idea of just how many galaxies are out there. From the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, I'm Mary Estacion.